Welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about the shape tool and um, custom shapes. Hopefully we'll get into custom shapes. So if you want to draw just vector type shapes, we have this tool over here called the shape tool. And you'll see we have some primitives, much like we do have up in the uh, rectangular marquee and the elliptical marquee. So we'll just draw out a simple shape. And we'll see that Photoshop automatically adds a layer for us. And the reason it's doing that is because we have this chosen to draw shapes. Okay. So when we draw shapes, we have a fill and a stroke. Let me change that stroke color so that you can see it. And we can put um, gradients in here, patterns, no, no fill, no stroke if we want, if we choose to do so. We can put gradients on the f strokes, patterns on the strokes, just all kinds of things with these shapes. And we can change the size of the stroke. Okay, and we even have options to change the stroke to dashed lines, have alignment, caps, corners, and we even have more options. So we have a lot of control over these shapes. Okay, so these are shapes. And if we want to draw um, specific size shapes each one of these shape tools have this have these options under it so we can say unconstrained or if we want to make an exact square we can draw we can choose that button a fixed size so if you want something eight inches by eight inches all you have to do is click and drag and it'll be eight inches by eight inches Let's do that again. If we want to set a fixed size, and let's say I want something 3 by 3, if I click in there, you'll see that it automatically gives me that 3 by 3 box. And you'll see over here in our layers that it's automatically adding those as shape layers. And I think we have one more in here, proportional, and we can even draw from the center. So if you like... Oh, if you like to draw from the center instead of a corner, you can choose to set it up like that. And they all work that way. If I want to get rid of them, I'll just delete these layers. Rounded rectangle. And if you want to adjust those, the radius, here is the uh, button for the radius. So we take that down to 50 pixels and draw another one and you'll see that that radius is a little bit smaller. And once again it has the square, if we want to draw a square, fixed size, proportional and even from center. Polygon? <laughs> Ooh, polygon. We can draw stars with the polygon tool. Alright, and the reason we can is because we have this checked here as star. We can either say smooth indents or sharp indents. So if you get, if you check the smooth, you get a little different shape. The line tool, ellipse tool. So we can draw ellipses. We can draw circle, fixed size, 
proportional and we can draw from center on that as well. So that's those are kind of the basics of the draw tools. All right. And we can even turn these into paths if we want to. So if we don't really want to draw shapes and we want to draw paths, now we are simply drawing paths and not filling them. It's not creating a shape layer over here. But if we look into our path panel, you'll see that we're adding shapes as paths. And the tool that we use to select our paths with over here is our path selection tool and our direct selection tool. So you see there that A is the keyboard shortcut. So we can interact with that much like we do in Illustrator. Okay. All right, let's go back up here to shape and the one thing I wanted to show you is that we can add shapes much like we do our selection tool we can add to subtract from okay so if I have if I draw a shape here and I hold down the shift key you'll see this little icon up here toggle and we have combined shapes we have new layer combined shapes subtract from shape intersect shape areas exclude overlapping shapes and merge shape components all right so I can add to this by holding down the shift key now when I add and hold down shift it's going to want to drag out a square because that's what shift does so once I get this shape drawn, all I have to do is let go of shift and I can go ahead and drag out a rectangle. And we know that we're adding to this shape because we're simply seeing one shape layer over here. Okay. And in our path panel, we see that we're just getting one shape. We're not adding multiple shapes, we're just getting this one shape drawn because we're adding these shapes to each other. Now if you forget to hold down the shift key and you click and drag, now you see that you've drawn a second shape layer. And that's no big deal. All we have to do is shift click on both of those layers and come up here to merge shapes and now you'll see that they're all on the same layer. And they don't, we don't have to, we're not constrained to just rectangles. We could add ellipses. Okay. And once again, I've got two layers over here, and I want them all to be on the same layer, so I'll just shift click. And I'll come up here and merge those layers merge shapes and now you'll see they're all on the same layer alright and what if we want to cut from this remember how we cut or subtracted from our rectangular marquee or our elliptical marquee well same same principle we can hold down option and start subtracting. So option key and we can simply oops, hold down the option. You'll see our little cursor up there turn into a minus
All right, so we have our shape built. We have all these shapes combined or subtracted. And now we want to save this shape or define this shape so that we can use it, save it, share it, sell it. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to um, come over here and grab our path selection tool. A is the keyboard shortcut. And we're going to select all those paths. And then we'll just come up here under edit and we'll say define custom shape. We can name it. I'll just uh, test one. We'll say OK. And now when we click on our custom shape tool, we'll see up here in our control bar this little icon that pops up or this little library and it stores all of our custom shapes and Photoshop comes shipped with several custom shapes that we can load we can buy custom shapes we can get free custom shapes and we'll see down at the very bottom is our test shape that we built. And if I choose that, now I can come over here and draw with that shape. If I hold down shift, it constrains it to the exact proportions. Or I can stretch it. And you'll see each time that I draw, I am creating a new shape layer. And we can change the color of each one of these if we want to. And change the stroke and the fill. So we have all kinds of options when we're talking about custom shapes. Alright. Let's say we wanted to create a ellipse or a crescent moon. So I'm going to drag out an ellipse. And then I'm going to grab my A tool. And I'll select it and I will option drag to duplicate. So now I have these two shapes. And if we come up here we see that each shape is has a combined function on it. Well we want one to have a new shape and we want one to have a subtract front shape. So we need to come over here and click on this shape since it is in front and actually I'll just change the color of it. So we can kind of see it. And we'll come up here and say subtract front shape. Alright, so we have basically have a new shape here and we've told this shape to subtract from that new shape. Alright. And now we want to go ahead and combine those shapes. So we'll come up here into our little icon up here and say Merge Shape Components. Alright. So now we have this crescent moon. And we want to save that as a custom shape. So we want that to be something that we are able to pull into our document when we want to. And to do that, we'll just select it. So we'll come over here to our selection tool. We will select it. And then we'll go up here to um, edit. And we'll say define custom shape. We'll call this moon. And we'll say OK. can delete that. Now if I come over here into my shape tools, we have this custom shape, actual custom shape tool, and I'll pull up here into my library, and there is my crescent shape. Alright, 
So I think that's a good start on shapes and custom shapes. And I will come back in another video and talk a little bit more about custom shapes and how to manipulate them and how to work with them. So thanks for watching and I will see you down the road in yet another video tutorial.